So, you know, this is another piece that I wanted to share with you. I wanted to call this passages. I wanted to read some passages from my book, More Myself, and kind of build with you on them and what I've taken from them. And also, like I said, it feels like we're at a place with passages where we're going through our own set of passages and where that's leading us and and where that's taking us. Um, I really like this one. This is from chapter nine. It says, it was right after I came back from Egypt and I took a really, first time I ever actually took a major break and I went somewhere significant. And it really taught me a lot and changed a lot in me. And just the fact of doing it alone was a big deal. So here's what it says. Most of us take about 16 breaths per minute. That means we typically breathe 960 times an hour or around 23,000 times a day. During my two glorious weeks of silence, I had more than 322,000 opportunities to breathe my way into a new existence. One exhale at a time, I let go of the urge to twist myself into a pretzel, trying to live up to others' expectations. I let go of the belief that if I stepped away, nothing would be there when I returned. And a... And in place of that notion, I inhaled liberation. I inhaled the boundless brilliance and the boundlessness that once guided the Egyptians in crafting monuments of greatness. That's what 14 days of solitude can bring. Space to breathe, time to reflect, a chance to reimagine what your life can look like. When freedom tapped me on my shoulder, I answered loud and strong. Back in New York, my team immediately noticed a shift in me. I need two weeks off to myself before and after every tour, I announced. And when, ahead of a press day in Japan, my manager showed me the proposed schedule, I, oh, it was crammed with wall-to-wall interviews, I pushed back. I need, 15 minute, I need a 15-minute break every hour to keep from turning into a robot, I said. I began using the single most powerful word a pleaser can ever speak. No. It took practice when pleasing has become your MO. It's tough to consistently begin holding your boundaries, but it gets easier the more you do it. You start to realize that the earth doesn't fall off its axis because you turned down a speaking engagement or even a movie role. The world keeps right on spinning and the gift you give yourself is more energy to do the work you actually want to be doing. Saying no doesn't make you less of an artist or a human being. It makes you a stronger and more purposeful one. So I really like this and I really wanted to recall this, especially during this time when so many of us have this moment to take, to think, to reflect, to decide, you know, what is it that we want to start to implement in our lives? What have we been missing? What boundaries do we need to put in place? What changes do we need to make, you know, and and how do we find the bravery to actually continue doing it and continuing honoring ourselves? For me, that still remains really, really hard, you know, even right now being home with the kids and helping with the homeschooling and helping to make sure bedtime is good and everything with the daytime and having a five-year-old and then a nine-year-old and then a 13-year-old and it's like all over the place, all, every hour it's like something going on. When will I find time to practice? When will I find time to write? When will I find time to read? When will I find time to sleep, you know? So just continuing, I'm even thinking now and and thinking how do I want to keep showing up for myself and creating boundaries that I need so that I can be a stronger human, a better mom, a better artist, a a better Alicia, you know? So I just wanted to leave you with that and have you think a little bit about what might you want to do and what boundaries you might need to set and don't feel bad about setting them and about sticking to them, creating a time for you and telling everybody, this is what I need to be happy and healthy and to be myself. So good luck, because I know sometimes it's tricky to put that in and to find the strength to keep it in. But I wanted to remind us both, we can do it. Sending you super love.